My dear friends and dear faithful, every day comes from Almighty God. Every day that we have, they're numbered. He created seven in number, and he gave us six of them, and he reserved one for himself. But of all the days of the year, the French refer to Corpus Christi as the Feast of God, God's Feast Day. It's a day for God's glory. It's a day of God manifesting his mercy upon mankind. Corpus Christi is the only day of the year which is exclusively dedicated to the Holy Eucharist. All the other feast days are beautiful reminders of some great truth, mystery, or belief. They are memories of a distant past. But each year we not only commemorate Holy Thursday in each and every Mass, but by Mass and benediction we have our Lord present in the most blessed sacrament to give honor and glory to. Relics will not be permitted on the altar this day. Our sacramental Lord will be there. He will be center. He will be the object of our attention, our love, and our affection. Corpus Christi is for some, perhaps with you, for some Christians, one of the most lovable feasts of the year. Because on Corpus Christi, as at Christmas, we honor the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're not present when the mysteries unfolded of our Lord's life but we participate in the very mystery of our Lord's body and blood while he's present on the altar, Corpus Christi, and throughout its octave. In Corpus Christi, we actually touch our Lord's body and blood in the sacrament of the altar. On Corpus Christi, he is our food, which nourishes our soul. He is our brother, he is our divine guest. This is the feast day <clears throat> that our Lord himself asked to be established. And he wanted to do so to draw us closer to him. In a few days we'll celebrate Father's Day. We just celebrated Mother's Day. Parents are anxious to receive the love and the affection of their children because they're anxious to show love and affection to them. And so Corpus Christi once more enables our Lord to show his love and affection for us as we show it to him. This feast day is one of great joy and it brings much joy to all devout Catholics. We should expect great blessings from our veneration of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. All the hymns and all the canticles of the Mass of Corpus Christi and the ceremonies point to the great favors given to us by our Lord. For the, in this feast day, our Lord shows us that he is most gracious. Corpus Christi, as I mentioned, was not celebrated on Holy Thursday. We do celebrate the Blessed Sacrament, its institution. We do celebrate the priesthood and its institution. But there's an impending sorrow on Holy Thursday. That of a suffering Savior. That of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. It would shadow and eclipse the great feast of Corpus Christi. Only after the ascension did our Lord find it the proper time 
after he had bid farewell to the Christians to commemorate the mystery of his Eucharistic heart. And now in the church it's postponed until after Pentecost that the faithful might receive the greatest benefit from the inspirations of the Holy Ghost. Some people say, many, that this is the greatest feast of the year, Corpus Christi. We have only remembrances of Christmas. We have remembrances of Easter. But on Corpus Christi, our Lord once again is enthroned in his church, upon his altar. The Catholic Church is never widowed as long as the Blessed Sacrament is present. It is a shame for the world, for non-Catholics who do not have our Lord present in the Blessed Sacrament. Their buildings are mere, their churches are mere buildings. They're sepulchers and their abandoned temples. What magnificence there is, no matter how majestic or plain, is the Catholic cathedral or chapel where our Lord is present in the Blessed Sacrament, where he is enthroned upon our altars, where he is ready to receive your adoration as today and ready to give his blessings as today. What reverence the faithful give as you leave church today, it is proper to give a double genuflection as our Lord will be on the altar when you leave. That you prostrate to the ground as the priest does many times during the Mass today. The friends of the church, they marvel at this great feast and devotion. And the enemies of the church, they tremble, those who know the power of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. In the Blessed Sacrament, our Lord gives you his blessing. He gives it to the good. He gives it to the sinner who is repentant. And he looks upon the weak and the sickly with great compassion. I ask you today to take your petitions to our Eucharistic Lord with great confidence, and you will receive his blessing. God love you and God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.